Hi guys, Marcus here, and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, June nineteenth, twenty twenty-two. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. This is episode five hundred and fifty-two, and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, Love When the Stars Fall releases a brand new trailer. Fans flood Deng Lun's restaurant with flower bouquets on his 10th debut anniversary. Zhou Xu succeeds in star chasing Crystal Liu. And an update on Chris Wu's court case. But first, here's what's recently premiered: three dramas for today and the past few days. There's Love the Way You Are, a modern romance drama starring Angela Baby and Lai Guanling. It premiered on June seventeenth and follows Angela Baby as a modern-day do-it-all Wonder Woman and a younger man played by Lai Guanling who brings a ray of sunshine into her heart. It is slated for thirty episodes and is available on iQ.com with English subs. The Lord of Losers is a modern drama starring Li Jiahang and Chen Guo, and it premiered yesterday, June eighteenth. According to Baidu, the drama tells the story of an honest man who gets a promotion at his company and is transferred to a new department where all his subordinates are "quote unquote" losers. It is slated for 24 episodes and is available on iQ.com with English subs. And lastly, No Regrets in Life is a modern drama starring Liu Guanting and Annie Chen, and it premiered on June 18th as well. As Netflix describes it, an ill-fated college couple accidentally becomes a viral sensation after a fight. Now they must figure out how they feel with the world watching. The Taiwanese drama is slated for 13 episodes and is available on Netflix. And that's it for dramas that recently aired. Moving on, updates on a couple of dramas that recently passed review. Bonds of This World, a fantasy costume drama starring Angela Baby and Ma Tianyu, passed review on June 16th and obtained an online record number for 36 episodes. Adapted from a novel of the same name, it follows Angela Baby's character, an immortal who is punished for accidentally releasing a demon. The guard on duty, played by Ma Tianyu, is punished as well, and they're both banished from the immortal realm. The Good Wife, a Republican era drama, passed review on June second and obtained a distribution license for forty episodes. Word on the Weibo sphere has it that it was initially supposed to star Huang Xiaoming and Zhao Wei, but because of Zhao Wei's cancellation, she was replaced by Yuan Quan. The drama has never officially confirmed the stars or the replacement, however, and they still don't have any content on their official Weibo page. Even though, according to Sena Entertainment, they've already secured a distribution license. The Good Wife is reportedly adapted from the American TV series of the same name, which stars Juliana Margulies, and tells the story of a full-time mother who returns to being a lawyer after her husband is imprisoned. Moving on now to drama wraps. I have just a one update in this segment for you guys. Zhao Lu Si and company have wrapped filming Hou Lang. Here she is with her customary wrap bouquet. The drama announced on June twelfth that they wrapped filming after a four month shoot. As Baidu explains it, the drama follows Zhao Lu Si's character who learns traditional Chinese medicine under the apprenticeship of a professor played by Wu Kang, who is keen to spread his knowledge. Luo Yizhou plays the professor's son, who constantly collides with Zhao Lusi's character. The drama's title, Hou Lang, directly translates as "Waves in the Back." And lastly, for drama updates, Love When the Stars Fall recently released a new trailer and a bunch of new character posters. The fantasy costume drama's minute and 36 second trailer is available to view on YouTube and looks very fantastical. Love When the Stars Fall stars Chen Xingxu and Landy Li, and is the third installment in a trilogy that includes Ashes of Love and Skate into Love. The three dramas aren't connected plot-wise, but they do share a common theme of love. According to Chinese Drama Info, the drama follows a pair of princess sisters. Landy Li plays the older one, who's described as gentle and kind, and He Xuanling plays the younger one, who's described as cunning and manipulative. 
The former is betrothed to the heavenly prince played by Chen Xingxu, and the latter to the demon prince played by Luke Chen. Due to a mix-up, the sisters switch spots, which leads to a conspiracy that shakes the four realms. And that's it for drama updates. Moving on, celebrity updates, and we begin with Teng Lun, whose name made the news again recently. On June 1st, Teng Lun was spotted in public for the first time in 78 days after his tax evasion scandal hit the fan. On the day, he met some fans who offered him small gifts and handwritten letters. Fast forward to June 10th, the day that marked the 10th anniversary of the 29-year-old's debut in the entertainment industry, and again, fans showed support. Sohu Entertainment reports it in this article titled, Teng Lun Appears After Three Months Unseen. His assistant leaked video of his 10-year debut anniversary. Fans moved to tears. According to the article, many of Teng Lun's fans sent huge flower bouquets to Fire Room, a hot pot restaurant he owns. In fact, he owns a chain of them. As you can see, the sheer number of bouquets was obvious as they literally overflowed outside the restaurant. Additionally, some fans revealed that Teng Lun made a special appearance that day to thank everyone, a gesture that moved some to tears. They mentioned that he accepted fan mail, signed autographs, and even had some cake. Netizens also noticed a towing video uploaded recently by his former assistant. From the clip, which mostly showed people riding bicycles, fans claimed that they heard Teng Lun's voice but couldn't definitively point him out. They concluded from the sound of his laugh that he was in good spirits. Next up for celebrity updates, Zhou Xu might be the man who dumped Crystal Liu's character in A Dream of Splendor, but in real life, he's quite the fan of hers. Cinna Entertainment talks about it in this article titled, Zhou Xu Succeeds in Star Chasing Crystal Liu. After filming a hugging scene, did not wash his hands, laughingly says it's the pinnacle of his life. In the currently streaming hit drama A Dream of Splendor, 39-year-old Zhou Xu plays Ouyang Xu, the man who really starts it all off for the protagonist, Zhao Paner, played by Crystal Liu. He promises to marry her, but in a move seen to further his career, dumps her for another woman from a family of stature. Joe recently did an interview with the variety show The Amazing Star and spoke about his experience working with Crystal. Among other things, he said that when he first met her on set, they exchanged pleasantries, where are you from, etc. After he excused himself to go rest, he turned to his assistant and blurted, she's so beautiful. He added that they filmed the scene where their characters hugged, and while filming went well, after that cut, he thought to himself, I can't wash my hands now, this is the pinnacle of my life. And he also boasted, with a huge laugh, that Crystal added him on WeChat on her own accord, without him asking. He said that when they were about to rap, he deliberately brought an instant camera to set, but was a bit shy about asking her for a photograph. To his delight, she approached him and asked to add him on WeChat, and they've been in contact on the app since. Joe also eventually got his picture with Crystal after he rapped. And lastly, before we get to this week's top 10, an update on Chris Wu's court case. On June 10th, the People's Court in Beijing's Chaoyang District released a statement to say that they had begun proceedings for Chris Wu's rape and group licentiousness case. They said that to protect the privacy of the victims, proceedings will be held in private in accordance to the law. They added that they will select a date for sentencing later. 31-year-old Chris Wu made arguably the biggest headline in Chinese celebrity news last year when he was arrested in August. He's already been imprisoned for about 10 months. Chris was detained a week after a social media influencer Du Meichu made a series of posts on Weibo claiming he'd raped her. Later, she alleged that several other women had reached out to her to share similar experiences, allegations Chris has denied. On that note, it's Sunday today, so time for the Top 10 Chinese Dramas of the Week, edition 127, June 19th, 2022. 
The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. They provide top drama charts every day. In this segment, the drama standings are based on their 7-day total points, beginning last Sunday and ending yesterday. We begin with the top 10 web dramas. The list is based on view counts on Yuku, Aichi, and Tencent, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. Number 10. Love Behind the Melody, the costume drama stars Pao Shang-en and Wu Chongxuan. Number 9. Time to Fall in Love, the modern drama stars Luo Cheng and Ling Xinyi. Number 8. Medical Examiner Dr. Chen, the mind reader, the modern drama stars Gala Zhang and Tang Ming. Number 7. Binary Love, the modern drama stars Sabrina Chuang and Ren Yulun. Number 6. The Murder in Kairute, the modern drama stars Deng Jiajia and Stephen Zhang. Number 5. Be Reborn, the modern drama stars Zhang Yi and Kerry Wang. Number 4. Daybreaker, the modern drama stars Li Feng and Song Yi. Number 3. Heroes, the costume drama stars Joseph Cheng, Yang Xiaoyue and Liu Yuning. Number 2. Legacy, the Republican era drama stars Qing Lan, Wu Jingyan and Zhang Nan. And number 1. A Dream of Splendor, the costume drama stars Crystal Liu and Chen Xiao. A Dream of Splendor is champion for a second week running. It garnered 613 points, one of the higher totals I've seen in a while. Next up, here are the top 10 Chinese TV dramas of the week. The list is based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China. Number 10, Lady of Law, the modern drama stars Maggie Jiang and Liu Mingtao. Number 9, Hello My Shining Love, the modern drama stars Zhou Chen and Jing Han. Number 8, Spring Breeze, Green Jiangnan, the modern drama stars Gao Xing and Xu Baihui. Number 7, Below the Lion Rock, the retro drama stars Huang Jue and Mai Li Wu. Number 6, My Superhero, the modern drama stars Huang Xuan and Bai Baihe. Number 5, Define the Storm, the Republican era drama stars Hu Yitian and Zhang Ronan. Number 4, Infidelity in Marriage, the modern drama stars Sun Li and Yuan Wenkang. Number 3, Nice to Meet You Again, the modern drama stars Jing Dong and Li Xiaoran. Number 2, Mam Wow, the modern drama stars Kitty Zhang and Li Zifeng. And number 1, Ordinary Greatness, the modern drama stars Zhang Rouyun and Bai Lu. Ordinary Greatness ends the week with 569 points, making a champion for a third week running. And there it is guys, hope this gives you an idea of what dramas are hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. Tune in again next week to see how your favorite dramas perform. And that brings us to the end of this episode. This show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe and don't forget to click that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with a dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.